Hello everyone, this is Sean and um, I'm the creator of the URCW and today I'm starting the first episode of Sean Talks URCW which is just discussing it, generally the narrative and what's been going on and trying to make sense of this uh, crazy string of videos. So for starters, about a few weeks ago, about three weeks ago to a month, I started the URCW. It started under a different name, but it kind of got uh, quote unquote rebranded to the ultimate. Inst uh, instead of just, uh, it was it was slightly different back then, but that's not, neither here nor there. It was just because a lot of new systems and games were added to the mix, and um, it was because it was a mix of created content by me personally, um, other stuff like M. Dickey Originals and um, different games like Fire Pro and M. Dickey's Wrestling Empire. So I figured it would be good to just um, change it up, make it the ultimate regarded creations wrestling instead of uh, MRCW, which was my, because I want it ultimate to just be a catch all for using other creations and stuff. And yeah. So there wasn't much rhyme and reason initially, it was just a lot of uh, ambitious uh, sized events and introductory uh, matches. Uh, a lot of establishing things and there wasn't much of a narrative yet. Until about when Mr. Jim came on board and Joe Hendry from, took a break from TNA and NXT to bless the U URCW, uh, God bless him, and I believe in everything. I believe in Joe Hendry, just got to make that clear. So uh, Mr. Jim and Joe Hendry went at it and Mr. Jim of course accused uh, Joe of doing drugs and Joe shot back with him doing drugs and they had a pretty gnarly match. And Joe Hendry didn't get over it and attacked Jim in the showers and he caught him and fucked him up. So that was that um, arc and then next um, there was a there's a lot more jobbers like the balloon boys. I call them jobbers because they're not very powerful. I don't even think they've won matches yet. Maybe one or two, but they were lucky to even get that. So there's them. Um, also, I had a personal row with uh, King Cobra JFS discussing how we're going to make the URCW big. And um, that was a shambles. That turned into an all-out brawl in the name of uh, putting our names out there. Then, of course, a very strange pair of um, quote-unquote jobbers appeared. There was Hippie Love, who is, may or may not be inspired by a very certain face of Foley, but a bit more um, regarded, so we'll, sh so we'll say. And um, what else was there? There was uh, the strange skeleton man, Skelly Bro. And Skelly Bro seemed like he was just uh, a nonsense uh, joke character, but there's more to him than meets the eye. He set up the... Um, well, the graveyard um the graveyard raid the apocalyptic graveyard raid which was um a couple dozen man battle in a graveyard on consecrated ground and that led to some very nasty results it summoned the infernal damn soul aka white glenn benton and white glenn benton um his fate is unknown but he was in the early days um with the wwe superstars and creations there but he's reappeared in the urcw and now he's an infernal damn soul and he's been winning every single match he's quite powerful and i vaped for a soul back in the day but that did nothing and his fate was unknown and he kind of disappeared for a while but now he's back and he thinks he's the owner of the urcw and he's causing a lot of trouble and just everyone's banding together to um take him out to dethrone him other people are showing up he turned against his own protege um the electric circus and betrayed him so now he's feeling forlorn and defeated and he'll have to rise back up against them his old mentor and even strange people are coming together and even tag teams are coming out of the woodwork and everyone's working together to retrieve the championship back from white glenn benton I'd honestly, be, I'd honestly be shocked if any of this was coherent or made sense, but that is essentially what the plot is up until now. I tried to put a little bit in the descriptions and titles and stuff, but I don't think that'll do it justice, so that's what this is for. The long and short of it is, there's the Infernal Dam Soul, who is the first true heel or villain to the URCW, and he's an actual narrative focal point. So we're just waiting for whoever actually takes him out, will get a solid chance at the championship and 
new faces will appear even more new faces old faces and the future is i'd say bright but it's actually pretty grim given what's been going on but hopefully hopefully it uh resolves itself and things can return to normal maybe um Lloyd benton can stop being such a prima donna and just be one of the roster instead of thinking he's the ruler of everything and that his shit doesn't stink but that remains to be seen and um thank you if you listened this far and if you've given any of the urcw's videos a view thank you so much and you're well appreciated goodbye <laughs>